love to start these off with a story. And you said you were in a cult as a kid. I think that's where we got to start. <laughs> uh, well, around, around 12 years old or so, a young tween, I, um, I was, my parents were Christian and I was Christian and I met up with this other uh, Christian church. And uh, this was a Pentecostal church in the San Diego area. And they had uh, young idealistic people and lived in group homes. And some of them went off and lived in a compound in Iowa. And so I went to their services regularly there in San Diego, and uh, they spoke in tongues, and they were energetic, and they were very loving and passionate and, uh, you know, in inclusive. And as a nerdy little 12-year-old boy, I ate that up. And then um, my parents, uh, you know, been soon disapproved, and uh, so they eventually uh, said I couldn't go, and so I didn't, and then that just faded into my background. And eventually, I, I've become atheist in the sense that... Uh, uh, in college, I learned physics and it became my worldview and there just wasn't much room in the physics worldview for the mystical elements of religion. And uh, I never got mad or like had a big argument. I know some people who, who are converted to atheism, you know, sort of blame the parents and say, why did you teach me all this stuff? But uh, that isn't all my style. Yeah, it's easy to understand how ignorance comes in from other people <laughs> and they pass it down. So you, you essentially go a full 360. Economics and physics are about as far away from religion <laughs> as you can get. <laughs> Is that uh, I'm not sure they are so far away. Well, they, they're they're grand. So um, in my talks, I, I show this circle of academia. So if you, if you map all the academic fields by co-citation, that is, and you put the ones next to each other that cite each other a lot, it turns out to be a ring. And it turns out that uh, economics and physics are close to each other on one side of the ring. They're they're the abstract topics. The opposite side of the ring is you know molecular biology, geophysics, you know all these very fine details, and a lot of medicine. But computer science, uh, physics, economics, they're all on the other side in mathematics uh, over there with uh, big abstract concepts, powerful theories that explain a lot of things with a small number of assumptions. And religion is kind of like that too, at least in its theology, as has these big grand conclusions. This has been another in our Fringe FM mini-series, where we take long-form interviews and condense them down to high-impact topics. If you'd like to get the full interview, check out the show notes or subscribe. Go to fringe.fm, where you'll find tons of audio and video interviews with leaders in the fields of genetics, cryptocurrency, longevity, AI, space, VR, and much, much more. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a quick review in iTunes to help more people discover Fringe FM. 